an eye and the bishop. And this can be a problem for beginners. They, they, their enemy pieces get inside too early. And obviously this response here is just terrible. Okay, because you're happy for them to advance this e pawn because the king pawn because you're going to have a, a tremendously uh, a good sh uh, shot at that structure. Now, uh, because this pawn here is going to strike at the structure supported by the bishop, and uh, so a3 is is actually a surprise move. It's actually a, it's it's a surprise move, and when you play a when you're a beginner and you play a strong club player, you know. Uh, someone who's 1800, they're all about their tactics, they're all about their uh, opening theory. And this move here, they're just going to shake their head. Well, it's not about the center, it's uh, what's it doing. And uh, if they play d5, they take the center. You have this shot here, and uh, it's uh, very, very strong. And you have also this shot here, okay, c4, okay. So you have lots of different ideas. We're going to talk about a3. We're going to talk about b3. We're going to talk about even c4 as a response to e5. It's another good response. But one of the ideas is you want to uh, you want to pressure them, and if they do it in an early advance, you know um, that's fine. But I mean, I get a lot of results from this because they don't know what to do if they advance. Okay. I take the center, and if they advance uh, the G pawn to protect it, they advance the F pawn, they can end up in a lot of trouble. And uh, so now I can build pressure against this uh, position. And I've got a very, very, and if they bring their bishop out to defend, I've got typical French ideas, you know, pressuring the loose pawn. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, this is if they advance here to defend, they bring the knight out, those ideas. The thing is, it's like a reversed French position, but you have that extra move up your sleeve. So uh, you can build pressure very, very easily. And uh, you're, not, you're, not, uh, you're not worried. You've got, you've got the ability to play uh, the F pawn, and you've got the ability to get your knight over to f4. Another way of striking at uh, the position. And also, uh, this bishop, which is really bad, at some point, uh, you know, you're able to play a3, b4. You're able to, like, get ahead sometimes with your queenside play and get your bishop over. Also, if you can have a situation where they take it back so e3 e5 if they have a position where you know they play their knight right very very typical idea you can immediately threaten it and you have, and you're threatening to double their pawns, which can help your attack on the queen side. And also, uh, the knight's actually quite strong here. All right, so there's lots of tactical ideas, lots and lots of tactical ideas, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of fun with it playing e3. And we're gonna go through each of Black's main responses, starting from strongest to weakest, which is uh, the F pawn. And <laughs> yes, it does target a center square, but the weaknesses it, it creates for itself in its king side, you know, considering the bishop is already active, is it's just quite strong. And this structure here is very strong and you're able to immediately bear down on them and uh, create a position which is very, very unpleasant for them.